Hi, I'm uh, York Underwood with The Grapevine. I'm here today with Chef Gunnar Gislason to talk to him a little bit about his restaurant, Dill, which I'll be spending the, the day in to find out exactly how things work here. So tell me, what is Dill Restaurant? So it's um, Dill is a restaurant that uh, I opened up with uh, a very good friend of mine uh, six years ago. Um, so it's a, um, we started up uh, with the idea of uh, this Nordic restaurant. Mm -hmm. um, Probably somehow, like through the years, it has uh, changed more into focusing only and more or less on, on Icelandic ingredients, and even more importantly, Icelandic uh, Icelandic culture. And trying to find those uh, producers that are uh, fo focusing on the old traditions, and somehow embrace those um, techniques. What type of techniques are like? What are the, what are the techniques in Nordic cooking? Oh, it's like. Um, like for an example here, we, we try to use like salted cod made the mm. traditional way. So it's, it takes up to 9 to 12 months to make it. Uh, the smoking technique with it, use the, the lamp, uh, lamp dirt. So it's like trying to find those those traditions and somehow find a way so we can use it in our our kitchen and uh, find it in the restaurant. And so you said this was your, your sixth anniversary. That means you guys started, you started just after the 2008 crash? It, we kind of like started a couple of days before. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> me and uh, me and uh, my friend, we we recently just had uh, quit our uh, jobs mm -hmm. uh, to open up deal, mm -hmm. and uh, we had some investors lined up and etc. Uh, like I think it was like a week a week after we uh, we stopped our jobs, so we um, we had to like rethink the whole schedule. Um, our investors they jumped off the wagon, and uh, and yeah, we we definitely had to. Uh, decide if we were gonna go um, mm. crawling and ask for our old jobs back, or <laughs> or if we would, um, you know, go for go for Plan B. Right, and then which we did. Which you did, and it's a success. Yeah, excellent. Great. And so, uh, what are your plans for the future with Dell? Um, we will just keep on working at, at exactly the things that we are doing. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, the menu is um, it's changing mm -hmm. and yeah. uh, and developing uh, like every week. Mm -hmm. uh, so we we just our focus is on like. Mm -hmm. Getting better, um, doing more focus, um, like finding nicer wines, finding nicer right. ingredients, like always just trying to get better at what you do. But obviously, like in this business, like in, in what we do, we sometimes take a couple of steps forward and a couple of backwards. Like, that's the way it is. I mean, sometimes we will we will come up with a plate that we think is amazing. And ends up being kind of crap. So, it's, <laughs> so it's, it's always like always like this and it's always like um, finding that focus and making sure that the things that you are producing is, is good enough and yeah. that it fits the restaurant and it fits to the, the philosophy and etc. So, mm -hmm. so if people want to come here, when are you guys open throughout the week? <coughs> We're open uh, four days. Four days? So it's open uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and uh, Saturday. Yeah. Um, uh, dinner only. Dinner only? So what time is that? Opens at six. Yeah. Perfect. Well, hope everyone comes down to your restaurant. Definitely. And we're gonna have a day together. So yeah. See how Thank it goes. you for coming. Thank you. <laughs>